Hi everyone, Scrappy Kathy here with Freeze Friday, and guess what? It's actually Friday. So I'm going to go through the layouts that I've made. There's seven here. Three of them were not videoed, and I'll explain that later, but the other four are up on my channel. Um, I expected to have quite a few more because I was intending to do quite a few of the, if not all, of the Secret Not Secret um, Kit Club party uh, challenges, but uh, life got in the way and I didn't make it to all of those. So I'll just quickly go through these. And then this weekend, um, I should have a chance to get uh, all the ones done that kind of spoke to me anyway, and I've got a couple other challenges and other groups that I want to get to, and uh, but I'll, I'll go through these quickly. This first one is one that I did for um, Off the Board with Pineapple Papers, and this was the original pin um, that I chose to lift. It's by Marie Hurst, who's on the design team for Lottie Loves Paper, and that's who she did this layout for. It's all Paige Evans, um, truly grateful uh, papers, and she fussy cut uh, these trees, and there's lots of beautiful stitching, and as you know, I don't do stitching, so I used my fake stitches, and uh, uh, that I, but came on a card, and if you watch the video, you'll see how they come. It's just an everyday photo of my granddaughter, Katie. I think it's in Starbucks. And um, it's just kind of a, as if she's looking up into her future, sort of a, a page. And um, I love the this particular color scheme. I love the blue and greens, the cool colors in Marie's, but this is the only piece that I had left of that um, pattern paper. Okay, here's one that I don't think I did a video of. Uh, it I did not. It's for my Mini Kit Monday. It's using um, some of my Mini Kit Monday items, and I used a couple um, filtered photos, used the same filter on a current and an older photo of Katie and, and Ava. And uh, <laughs> there, Ava's tiny and, and Katie's giving her a hug. Now, <laughs> Ava's as tall as Katie and Katie's bent over giving her a hug. So I thought that was kind of cool. To hear they're getting ready to go into the Goodwill store. Um, I did a, uh, this was, I built this kit around a bingo, a line on a bingo card that was part of Mini Kit Monday's um, feature this month. And the requirements were wood grain paper, hexagons, washi tape, enamel dots, and wood veneer. So my wood veneers here, wood grain paper, um, washi tape. I think I also did it for um, uh, it, it, I, it's a lift of Patricia Flores for Secret Not Secret Party. And I think I did the 10 items, all 10 of the items. There are splatters and uh, enamel dots and brads and stamps and stencils and so forth. So that one has uh, three different challenges in it and no video. This one is maybe one of my favorite layouts ever. I've got a, a, something just fell off of that last layout. It's, um, uh, the background is a Vicki Booten uh, pre-done mixed media. I used a stencil that has this couple kind of walking off into the future. I used a uh, die cut from, or a, um, a cut file from Creative Cuts and some, um, uh, uh, Illustrated Face by Bella Boulevard, uh, She Blooms Paper for the framework and the base and the flower here. Um, a photo of us taken a year, um, five years to the day um, from when I did this layout. This came up in my Facebook memories, um, John and me and Bora Bora. And 
It, I just then I used a couple Bramble Fox perspective hearts. So love this. I'd go everywhere with you is is kind of a that's a true statement there. Um, this is another one that I didn't do uh, a video. It was kind of a quick one. Um, really bad uh, print of this photo, but the way the colors came out kind of looks um, dreamy and, and weird, um, kind of like when if you're in a, um, I've got a bit that's kind of fallen away from there. There's another, um, there's supposed to be another library card right there. I'll have to go hunt for it in the room where these were sitting. Anyway, um, I it's all scraps, and I think there were holes. There was a hole in the paper uh, kind of right behind where the photo is, and I backed it with some some paper. Um, this was for the for the love of homemade kits, um, and and I used my, this lime green background paper I really love, and used some scraps from that um, uh, Bella Boulevard Faith uh, Illustrated Faith, um, including I bent over the corner here. Let me pull that back into view there. I bent the corner and used a brad there, and that's also got the 10, 10 items from um, Secret Not Secret Party. I'm just looking for that library card, and I'm not seeing it. Anyway, this is one that um, I did for um, Challenge Accepted, the series I do with Shannon Allor. It was, uh, and, and it's also one of the party challenges was to align everything on a diagonal. I used stamps and, uh, um, and include, it was also for Rediscover Your Stash. The challenge that Challenge Accepted accepted was from uh, Rediscover Your Stash, and the challenge was to use three, at least three different stamp sets, including one you'd never used before. So I used four different stamp sets. I used one from Diane Reevely for um, the sentiment here. I used two from Vicki Booten for these images, as well as the flowers uh, that are on the back that are stamped in three different colors. I stamped here in the... Um, gold color and here in a gray and here in black and this kind of continued down there and then there's an october afternoon stamp set that i use there all vicky booten papers from a single paper pad uh, including these gold ones and the background is also vicky booten probably one of my very favorite uh, pattern papers, and I love the uh, A side as much as the B side that I've used here. This one is the one that went live today for Mixed Media Frenzy, and the original um, that I lifted is this, and I happened to find a uh, one of the Vicki Booten pre-made mixed media uh, backgrounds that kind of looked close enough and I added some black gesso through a stencil. There's a single stencil that has these images cut into it. And then I used another Diane Reevely sentiment from that same stamp set that I used before, saying if it doesn't make you feel fabulous, don't do it, don't buy it, don't keep it. Which sounds like great advice that I'd like to give, be, be able to give to my 23-year-old self which is uh, who's in that picture. And uh, you know, almost 50 years ago to the day from when I did this, this layout uh, in Banff on a, a weekend getaway from an assignment where I was in Calgary. And I used the same stamp. I used it upside down here and on its side here with black ink. And then I used a, an oxide ink in, uh, let's see, frayed burlap 
yeah, frayed burlap. I was gonna say frayed burlap or old paper. And I, I did it right side up, but kind of lightly. And then I stamped the sentiment on top of this other stamp. So I have double layered stamps. And I just really love how that came out. It's not, there's not much of a story there except the feelings I get inside when I look at it. Um, this one is the last one I've done this week. Um, it is completely done with scraps. Um, and it's meant to show that I did a, um, uh, in, in the ABC challenge, the C letter, I've done A for using all the alphas and B for doing, um, using girl items on a boy page. Um, this one, the C stands for collections. So the question was, do you tend to use on your pages uh, one single collection or a mix? And my response was a mix, and usually I do <laughs> mix everything up. But I also did this for a secret, not secret party challenge to use, um, uh, to, to create a page that's mostly constructed from a single paper pad. So I have a six by eight paper pad that I got originally in a Mind the Scrap kit, and it, um, it was their, it's one of their uh, uh, kits called the Bujo kit, and you get a paper pad, either six by six or six by eight every month. And this was the Vicki Booten Wallflower and Honey pad, and I cut everything you see on top of the background from that single paper pad. And I'm using a photo that's just really a bad print because my printer was broken <laughs> and my printer's in the shop now to be fixed. But I kind of thought it looked, it's a goofy photo, a selfie that my son and my granddaughter took. And it's the streaks across that almost look intentional and they kind of echoed the stripes in this paper and this paper that I layered up near it. Um, so I, I tore some used uh, branding strips up at the top of the, paper, cut these butterflies out of um, a cut apart and cut the sentiments and title out and the owls. And then I, to show, so that's the <laughs> single collection. Everything's from the same collection because it's from the same pad. And I layered it on top of an old 2013 vintage um, authentic paper called, I think, Moonlit. And this uh, side of it is kind of a, I want to say a brownish, burnished, charcoalish kind of color that kind of reads as black, but it, but it's softer than black. And I thought it just went perfectly with all of these um, uh, wildflower and honey items. So that's the last page I've done this week. I'm going to file these in albums. I promise that is part of my uh, weekend to-do list. And I'll try to film that um, filing scheme that I have and kind of show you how I go about that. And just to let you know, I've never ever let myself get as far behind as I am now. And I've bought albums. I bought those with last week's, in last week's indulgence. Uh, haven't bought any albums or anything else this week. So completely, um, my spending was completely frozen this week. And I'm pretty happy with that. Um, and I, like I said, next week, I, I hope to get at least five or six layouts done. Um, maybe three a day, so maybe actually nine Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And then, um, so I'll have a, a and then my usual uh, ones that I do for um, uh, collaboratives and series that I'm in. Um, so I should have a bigger uh, share next week. But 
for now, I'm happy with these, and I'll, I'm happy with the fact that I didn't spend anything. This weekend, I also plan to do, it's the start of a new month tomorrow, and I will be rebuilding my, um, for the love of homemade kits, my counterfeit kit, my um, uh, how to kill a kit with style, and my mini kit Monday kit. So I'll have four now since how to kill a kit with style is, is, is um, coming back uh, for the month of February. So we'll see. I, for my, let's just a little review. My mini kit Monday, I used every piece. I, I, I had a few scraps left and I kind of planned it that way. It was based on bingo boards. I was able to uh, construct my page kits uh, with the bingo board in mind. I got bingo on all three of the layouts I, I did. The, my counterfeit kit was built on a Christmas kit and we did celebrate Christmas. In fact, all this week we celebrated Christmas with um, with Ava, and we've I've got quite a few Christmas photos that I want to and planned to um, scrap with that kit. So I'm leaving that kit as my uh, February kit as well. That's that's. That I'm not going to, because uh, the reason for that, I, I guess, as you know, that my, my uh, printer had some problems. It's in the shop, and I really don't, I tried printing a couple of them on my husband's printer, and it's not great. So these are pictures I want really good photos, and I want them certain sizes because I have some plans for the pages. So uh, uh, you'll see me with Christmas photos in my counterfeit kit, and everybody else will be doing the new February kit, but I'll still be doing January's. On uh, How to Kill a Kit with Style, I, it has been, I've been pulling from my last one, the November one, I think, um, for all of these Vicki Booten um, pages that I've been doing lately. So I will probably do a combination of those with some uh, Paige Evans Truly Grateful, two of my favorite designers, and the leftovers of their last kits, because I, or collections, because I expect to be getting some new uh, collections, some pieces from some new collections from those um, sometime soon. And my, um, I'll go buy whatever recipe Christina publishes for For the Love of Homemade Kits, and I'll do that. I don't have much left there, but I expect to use a lot uh, in the layouts that I do today and tomorrow. So that's my summary. I'm looking for, I'm also trying to use the last of my uh, Mind to Scrap January kit, and I've got some bits and pieces that are left from three of my last kits from uh, the Secret Not Secret Kit Club. So I've got more than enough to create with this coming month, and I'm looking forward to shopping from my stash and, um, in, and being proud of not spending anything else. And my husband likes that too. So thanks for watching. Talk with you next week. Bye.